During this pandemic, people are finding creative ways to help others, stepping outside of their comfort zones and learning new skills. I had friends who worked in healthcare who were worried about not having the PPE that they needed. So I didn't know how to sew and I just got a sewing machine and figured it out. Thousands of masks later, Annie Moore is still at it, but she did switch up her mission a little bit. It went from making face coverings for her friends to selling them to anyone who needs them and then giving the proceeds to local nonprofits. What's the process been like for you? Um, really rewarding. Uh, during all of this, I feel like there's so much that's out of control in the world. It really has given me like a sense of I can do something, I can help. I've been shocked by how many people want to support. Um, I got 91 orders in the first week. The demand has started to level off since that first week, but Annie is pretty much always working, whether it's from home for her job or on the sewing machine for her community. I'm always sewing every day. They need the masks, but they love that it goes to something, you know, that helps other people. Like Change Today, Change Tomorrow, Feet of Louisville, Down Syndrome of Louisville, the Fairness Campaign, My Dog Eats First, and UofL Hospital. And he says all of us can do something. Since I have the ability to do something, I have the responsibility to do something. This is my small way to help out the community during all of the craziness we're going through. So those masks that you just saw are $5 each, and those different patterns support a different cause. That's how you know where your donation is going to. If you're interested, we did put a link on WHAS11.com. And if you have something going on in your community that shows what's right, let me know about it. We definitely want to hear what's going on. You can send me an email, or you can message me on Facebook or Twitter at KPierceTV.